What is up everyone? You have been waiting for this campaign video. Today we're gonna be playing Ara Kingdom. Before we get started, we need to learn more about this game, right? So what is Ara Kingdom? Ara Kingdom is a free-to-play enemy MMORPG featuring strong PvE elements, a uniquely detailed world, and an engaging, well-crafted story. Our kingdom empowers players as envoys of Gaia, gifted individuals that take the role of one of the 15 classes. There are a lot of classes in this game, so you should make sure to check this game out. And you will be exploring various regions connected by a strong story. Starting in a small fishing village with small delivery tasks, and player will be solving the problems of different tribes and races, only leading to the point of being one of the army leaders. Fighting the demon clan and preventing Azuria, the world of Ara Kingdom, to be destroyed by vicious demons and mischievous gods. The PvE content doesn't consist only of dungeons, quests, and daily activities, but has also several professions, such as fishing, cooking, archaeology, and collecting, and many mini games like Gaia Chronicles or Card Duels. Alright, so when you create your character, you should be able to click on the icons of the class and then they're gonna briefly explain about what they can do. So this is a melee guardian. Has a shield, sword, you know, kind of like a paladin. Next up is Ravager. And if you don't know what Ravager means, I'd probably look at the weapon and be like, oh, that's class that uses some kind of a polearm X. All right. Next up is Duelist. It says melee, so you know what's going on, right? Uses two swords or two daggers. And Gunslinger. Oh, at this point, you might be thinking, oh, maybe if I choose a class, then I need to either be male or female or that's fixated. No, it's not. In MMORPG, you might like to choose a male character that looks really badass, but then sometimes just because you want to see more female characters. For me, I don't like looking at a guy walking around my screen all the time because I don't like to think that that's me, you know? I would like to see waifus only, so I always go for a female character. But anyways, this is a gunslinger. It can shoot stuff. It's ranged. And this is Grenadier. So this character can shoot stuff from a long range. It looks like it's using a rocket launcher and he jumps around looks very mobile so if i had to play if i had to choose a character i'd probably go for uh this class next up is bard and you have this heart as you can see this character is for support so if you like healing you know giving buffs to your friends then you should be using that instead because this is a game where you can play with other people being a support is also good as long as you play with your friends wizard oh man I like the preset. She looks thick. Nice. And what more can we say about wizard, right? Using fireballs, you know, creating tornadoes, wind bolts, ice bolts, and sorcerer. What is the difference between the wizard and sorcerer? I have no idea. But it seems awesome. If I have enough time, I'd probably try out both of the classes. It looks pretty cool. Brawler. Kind of like a Wolverine, right? Oh, what is he doing? He's showing off his skills to me. Nice. Ranger. And as the icon shows you, this class uses bow. Nice. And this is a class that uses... Oh, a samurai character. In order for you to choose the class that you like, you're gonna have to probably take a look at this animation on the top right to get the idea of what you can do or what this character can do. Rodemp looks pretty good too because you have evasive? Evasive, that means fancy. I think it would have been better if they said difficulty instead of evasive because usually when you need to dodge and do fancy stuff, the difficulty for the character is a little higher than those warriors that just tank stuff, you know? And a reaper. Mm. At this point, I'm not even so sure if anyone can choose their class. There's so many of them and they all look fancy. And there's Holy Sword. Holy Sword seems like a, kind of like a paladin. Yo, I, I say Guardian is kind of like a paladin, but more like a warrior. And this Holy Sword is the paladin in the game. And you have a big sword. 
For those of you who believe that big weapon equals to your PP pee -pee size, you should be using Holy Sword. That's the biggest weapon I see. And there's Shinobi. Oh, Shinobi. Seems to be a very fun character. You should you should be throwing shurikens like Naruto. And he kind of looks like Sasuke too. <laughs> and we have our Lancer. Uh, by far, I think this is my favorite. So I think I'd go with Lancer. Well, because he has a nice weapon and he's got the AoE skills. So, yeah, Lancer for me it is. And we've got a guitar player. Oh, what is this? Oh, my eyes. Oh, my God. And a star color. Oh, my God. We've got a character here. If you are into, you know, those kind of stuff, then yes, star color is your character. And you can customize your gender, face, hairstyle, hair color, eye color, skin tone, and everything. But you shouldn't really spend too much time doing this before you even get started on the game because, like I said, you can change your gender and all of these on the right side as if you're creating your character for the first time in-game. And there are so many costumes you can try on. So choose what you like. And like I said, I'm going for a female character. And my name is gonna be Big PP. All right, this name is available. Let's go. And you might be wondering what this is. If you're familiar with Genshin Impact, you should just think about this as a emergency food, okay? There are 70 Iodolon, and you know, you can choose the appearance for your Iodolon. And there are 70 plus Iodolons in Aura Kingdom, so just choose whatever, and then you can deal with it later. I'll go with the Cherry Slide. What happened to my costumes? Oh, what is this costume? I like this costume now. I don't care about the costume that I chose in the beginning. Can I keep this? Oh. Oh, what is this posture? Nice. So after you follow all those quests that they give you, you're going to be able to unlock your Eidolon. If you look at the archives, it may look like you're gonna have to pay to collect all these, but no. You can obtain them from quests, doing dungeons, and killing special bosses. And those Eidolons have 4 star levels, 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, and 4 star. Your max level is gonna be 99 after the oath. Eidolons, they always stay with you, and then it fights with your character. And each Eidolon has a unique combo skill that you can use with your character. And they can be switched between active party members during the fight. And for the most time when you're playing an MMORPG like this, then you probably get lost and you wouldn't know what to do. But in this game, you can just do a single click and your character is going to move to that destination. You know, they're not going to fight for you, but they automatically talk to the NPCs and then they bring you to the battlefield where you're supposed to farm for designated monsters. The quest says defeat Tanuki and they have this quest icon above them so that you can just go ahead and attack them. Your skills. Nice. Oh, very fancy. Okay, we have to kill four of them. All right, that was about killing the monster, and then now next up is talking to the NPC. I just did one click. It's going. It's going. It's going. And nice. And you can also do a moonwalk. And also, by any chance, if you don't like costumes, you can just take them off, and then your character's gonna look pretty. And I told you about how you can change your style, right? And from a female, you can change to male character. Nice. All right. And then... All of a sudden, you're a dude! Very nice. In this game, you don't get to choose your p size, but it would have been great if they had that feature. This game also has a lot of mini games you can do if you're bored. And like I said in the beginning, cooking, fishing, car battles are the ones you can, you can probably enjoy after you hit certain level. And this is what you do for cooking, okay? So, things are a little weird, but besides the ingredients that you need for the cooking, 
then you click the ones that you don't need. Okay. Oh my God. They're really fast. Oh, oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. And then, you know, what is the best about this game? Although us weeps cannot really get married in real life, we can marry somebody online. Look at this. You've been through all those exploration with so-called spouse. You've been there, done that, and you're now getting married. And hope that your online girlfriend is not a catfish. <laughs> From now until January 15th, Aura Kingdom players can get discounted item packs and support reforestation at the same time through an Eden Reforestation Project's collaboration. Visit charity.gamigo.com for more information including a chance to win awesome prizes from hardware partners. The link is in the video description down below.